So what is progress? Don't think too hard, because society is sitting around the corner waiting to tell you exactly what it is. Progress can only be achieved through cutting corners, creating shortcuts, and making things more efficient. And what better way than with technology? We continue to claim that technology gives us a sense of freedom. This is the basis of many organizations that send computers to countries in Africa, saying that it, it equalizes the access to knowledge and revolutionizes education, which is true. But in my opinion, there's another truth. Let's think of a sphere and say that it's freedom. In my opinion, we're only looking at a chunk of it, and the rest of it's lying in the dark. I think that we should be looking at the rest. I want us to think of a small community in the northernmost part of India, Ladakh. It wasn't until 1962 that the Ladakhi people were introduced to technology. It wasn't until 1962 when the Western world came to Ladakh. Before this time, the Ladakhi people were completely self-sufficient but as they were introduced more and more to the Western society, they felt the need to produce and develop technologically. Before this time, education was based around connecting with elders and connecting with nature, something that prepared their students for the environment that they came from. But as the Western society became the norm, so did modern schooling. Modern schooling taught the students to live in a technological rather than ecological society, therefore isolating them from the very context that they were from, influencing them to move away from these cultures, to find jobs, and forget about these traditional ways of living. Not only this, but the Western world labeled these people as poor and in need of assistance, something that was far from the truth. The Ladakhi people prided themselves on a culture that focused on humans' needs, whilst also taking into account the limits of nature. They found the balance between stability and harmony, a different kind of development. Not only did the Ladakhi people represent a way in such a community could progress without technology, but they also represent the inferiority that people feel when they try to live outside the status quo. I personally believe that these different ways of developing and these different ways of living are priceless. We can learn a thing or two from them. The bond made in a society where you work with each other towards a common goal, towards the greater good, creates a profound sense of security and an endless connection with each other. Above this, there's many sustainable ways that these societies practice. I'm just naming a few of the positive aspects that come from these communities, which is why I'm so confused as to why we don't encourage this. If this is how the world wants to be, then I understand. I'll sit down right now. However, I continuously hear these claims that technology, technological progress is not a sustainable, sustainable way of progressing. I also see these, de these headlines in the newspapers complaining about how technology is disconnecting the relationships in real life. If there's all these negative reasons why we're looking towards technological progress, and there's maybe some day where we'll have no choice but to admit that we need to move to other ways of developing, then why are we not encouraging them now? And yes, I must admit that as the decades have gone by, we have started to accept different ways of living. However, in my opinion, we've accepted them as novelties. They're cool, but not cool enough to live. I don't see why we don't start moving forward now looking at how we can balance a way of living without technology and with technology, finding that harmony and stability, a different way of development. Maybe then 
we can look at that sphere and say that we're looking at all the freedom of possibilities. The future knows no limitations, and I don't know what's going to happen from here. I don't have all of the answers. I just have the question, this dangerous idea. So I guess it's up to whoever feels the ambition to embrace this. I guess it's up to you to decide what progress will look like in the future. So what's progress? Thank you.